So warm welcome to our Conscious Enhanced Ultrasound webinar. Um, uh, I'm allowed to moderate on behalf of Professor Paul Sidu, who is not available today. So it is my pleasure, first of all, to introduce my uh, own lecture, but uh, even better, uh, the other lectures uh, today. Um, which is all on um, hepatocellular carcinoma, metastasis, uh, diagnosis, and treatment. So the first lecture will be um, on the role of contrasound ultrasound uh, in diagnosis and patients' management of primary liver cancer, or in other words, of hepatocellular carcinoma. My name is Christopher Dietrich. Uh, I'm currently working uh, at Hirslanden Bern. Um, and uh, from the very beginning, uh, working also with Contrasnance Ultrasound. Um, and I'm happy and proud uh, to present here um, on the diagnosis of hepatocellular. Carcinoma. The agenda is um, somewhat about HCC at time of diagnosis. Is screening effective? It is about liver imaging reporting and data system. After the lecture, we should be familiar with that. There are a few open issues of very small hepatocellular carcinoma, the mixed form HCC and the cholangiocellular carcinoma, the fibrolamella HCC, and open issues also overlap in differential diagnosis HCC in the non cirrhotic liver and hepatocellular adenoma. And the treatment will be handled and discussed by my colleagues introduced a little later. So it's about diagnose, characterization and staging and the treatment options are curative, are palliative or might be also neoadjuvant. First question is uh, HCC at time of diagnosis without any screening. We exam 100 patients and uh, the size of uh, that HCC, which have not been screened was about five centimeters. And it could be nicely shown that screening reduces the size at time of diagnosis to about 50%. So two to 20 or 25 millimeters could be reached. So screening is effective, which is an important message. Why LIRATS? It is uh, to achieve a consistent terminology to reduce interpretation, variability, and errors, to allow clear communication. It's all about education, to contribute to optimal management, to use a proper technique, and it's quality assurance and good for research. Those are the aims of liver imaging reporting and data system. The working group of the American College of Radiology in due, um, uh, includes all the people uh, shown here. Um, and uh, there have been a huge amount of discussions to optimize uh, liver imaging reporting and data system. And at the end of the lecture, we should understand the LIRATS classification tables. So first of all, what should we know about malignant transformation? We should uh, have that um, regen regenerative uh, nodule. We have that dysplastic nodule and the HCC. And in patients at risk, what does it mean patient at risk? It means liver cirrhosis. There is a change of the amount of arteries, supplying arteries and the liver specific vessels, the portal, uh, venous branches and the sinusoids. And it is all about wash in, arterial phase hyper enhancement, and wash out hyper enhancement. What happens uh, during the multi step carcinogenesis? 
from the regenerative nodule to the high grade dysplastic nodule early HTC, there is a loss of portal supply. There is a loss of liver specific arterial supply. And later in the course, arterial vessels, neoplastic vessels can be observed. And from the benign lesion to the malignant lesion, there is a change of vascular supply. And here in the HCC stages, it is arterial phase hyper enhancement. And as you can see, there is a loss of portal supply. And then there is some sort of wash out as a second very important feature during the process of a nodule from benign to malignant. There's a confusing table about probabilities and later on we will hopefully understand that table. There are three criteria mandatory for liver imaging reporting and data system LIRATS-5, which will prove HCC without biopsy. Keep it short and simple. Let us summarize those three features. It is a size of a liver nodule above or equal 10 millimeters. It is arterial phase hyper enhancement and it is washed out, mild and late. Those three features are mandatory for LIRATS-5. There are criteria excluding LIRATS-5. It is a size below 10 millimeters. Here we can see nine millimeters. It is a rim enhancement and it is early and or punched out, wash out. You might ask, what is early? Earlier than 60 seconds. Rim enhancement, as you can see here, cannot be LIRATS-5, which will prove HCC. It's a sign of malignancy, but it's most often seen in metastasis and cholangiocellular carcinoma. So here we have that diagnostic table, arterial phase hyper enhancement. We have that late and mild washout. If both comes together and a lesion is larger than 10 millimeters, then it is HCC. The major features are size, arterial phase, hyper enhancement and washout mild and late. The arterial phase hyper enhancement can be in whole, can be in part. Those are features of HEC. If we have rim enhancement or peripheral nodular or globular enhancement, then other diagnoses are probably here, metastasis or colonial cellular carcinoma in rim enhancement and peripheral nodular conscious enhancement and hyper enhancement during all phases, it is hemangioma. The washout might be mild and late. And then it's a typical HCC lesion. It might be early and punched out, then it is more probably a malignancy of other origin than HCC. So wash out the presence of wash out exclude LIRATS 1 and 2 categorization. Here you can see peripheral nodular contrast enhancement and hyper enhancement during all phases this is a classic hemangioma behavior and 
it is a clear, definite, benign lesion in a patient at risk. Probably benign means ISO enhancement in all phases. The distinct nodule should be smaller than 10 millimeters. It is probably a regenerative nodule or low-grade dysplastic nodule. As you can see here, a nodule in the liver less than 10 millimeters. It is non-hyper-enhancing and does not show wash out. It's LIRAT2. LIRAT3 shows intermediate probability. It is arterial phase hyper-enhancement, less than 10 millimeters, no wash out. You can see here a lesion, nine millimeters, hyper-enhancing, and no wash out. That's LIRAT3. LIRAT4 is larger than 10 millimeters, arterial phase hyper-enhancement, but no wash out. Patient with liver cirrhosis, you can see those lesion, this lesion here, hyper-enhancing, and does not show wash out. This image was taken 2001. It was an hepatocellular adenoma in liver cirrhosis. And I have ob observed this patient for right now 20 years, no change of size, still hepatocellular adenoma histologically proven. LIRAT5 is larger than 10 millimeters, arterial phase hyper enhancement and late and mild washout, all three criteria. Definite HCC, no histology needed. 11 millimeters, hyper enhancing, mild and late washout. Later we will learn from Edilene what to do with such a patient. I'm very much looking forward for that presentation. And then there is tumor in vein. And if this Tumor in vein, you can see portal vein, hyper enhancing and wash out. You can see the diffuse infiltration of that patient, which is definitely HCC, portal venous infiltration, hyper enhancing. And here you can see such a portal vein uh, thrombosis. You can see after injecting the contrast agent Sonovu. We are looking to the portal vein and you can see the individual vessels, which is a proof of hepatocellular carcinoma. In contrast, here's a thrombus injecting some of you. You see there's no enhancement at all. And what is a big difference to CT and MRI contrast agents? It's a strict intravascular agent. You don't see any bubble, no bubble at all within the thrombus. And so it is an appositional thrombus, as you can see here. A typical behavior is here you can see early arterial hyper enhancement, no enhancement of the portal vein. A few seconds later, hypo enhancement and the portal vein is enhancing during that moment. And here you can see punched out early wash out during the portal venous phase. How does it look? Arterial phase hyper enhancement, portal vein is not enhancing. Right now, portal vein is enhancing. You can see hypo enhancement of the lesion during a few seconds. Look to the right, orange, hyper-enhancing, hyper-enhancing. Portal vein is not enhancing so far. Hypo-enhancement, wash out within a few seconds. You will never see that using CT and MRI during real time. So this is metastasis, no HCC, early and punched out, wash out. What should we know? Three major criteria, size, less 
10 millimeters or larger, arterial phase hyper enhancement, wash out. And then we have two rules, nodules, the rule of 10 millimeters and the rule of 20 millimeters. It's a nodule, yes, no. Arterial phase hyper enhancement, the rule of 10 and the rule of 20. It's a nodule less than 10 millimeters and it's ISO in all phases, it's LIRATS2, as we have seen. If it's smaller than 10 millimeters and arterial phase hyper enhancement, but no wash out, it's LIRAT3. If it's small, then the highest LIRATS ranking can be LIRATS4 if it shows arterial phase hyper enhancement and wash out, mild and late. If it's larger than 10 millimeters, ISO in all facets, LIRAT3. If it's larger than 10 millimeters, arterial phase hyper enhancement, but no washout, LIRAT4. If it's larger than 10 millimeters, arterial phase hyper enhancement, late and mild washout, it is proven HTC, LIRAT5. Then, if we have a lesion less than 20 millimeters and ISO in all phases, it's LIRAT3. The same with washout in a nodule less than 20 millimeters. If it is larger the nodule than 20 millimeters and ISO in all phases, still LIRAT3. If it shows mild and late washout, it is LIRAT4. So the distinctive feature is the nodule above 20 millimeters. Now we can understand the concept. LIRATS1, definitely benign. LIRATS2, probably benign. LIRAT3, intermediate probability for HCC. LIRATS4, probably HCC. LIRATS5, proven HCC, almost 100 certainty observation is HCC. LIRATS5, tumor in vein is portal vein thrombosis with arterial phase enhancement. And if we have a lesion which shows atypical features like rim enhancement and early and punched out, wash out, it's malignant, but not highly probably HCC. Other systems have been um, published by Degum and the Erlang group that uh, finally uh, a very skilled observer under real conditions is almost as good as a system, Lyrat system or Esculap system. We have that fibrolamella HCC. Be aware of such a lesion. If you might be interested, uh, there's a published article. It looks like FNH, but it shows wash out. And it has to be histologically proven because those patients are young. Don't miss an FNH as fibrolamella HCC. The very small HCC are controversially discussed. Do we have that? nodules, regenerative dysplastic nodules, or do we have an HCC de novo from a few millimeters starting? There is a paper on that as well, if you are interested to discuss. There's an overlap of uh, HCC and uh, cholangiocellular carcinoma, mainly in Asian uh, patients, in European American patients, less than, let's say, 1% in Asian people more often. And then we have that overlap, uh, hepatocellular adenoma, carcinoma, which has been also a big issue and recently discussed by our group. HCC in non cirrhotic liver is work in progress. We uh, discuss that uh, issue as well. So my conclusion is HCC at time of diagnosis has a size of five centimeters. Screening allows a size of at time of diagnosis to decrease to half of the size, 25 millimeters or even less. LIRATS is the best evaluated image classification, the size, arterial phase hyper enhancement, wash out 
late and mild. We have discussed a few open issues and then we will um, go to uh, the treatment um, options and uh, for the moment, thank you so much uh, for the um, attention and I'm looking forward to discuss with you uh, open issues and uh, yeah, I'm happy uh, to get uh, questions. There's one question. Sometimes it is really hard to differentiate high grade dysplastic nodule from highly differentiated HCC. The question is about how to deal with this kind of liver. In doubt, it's always allowed to take a biopsy and uh, to go for treatment. So uh, if we, uh, um, how to say, really fight uh, to differentiate uh, such a nodule, um, I would follow the LIRAT's recommendation with a very good ultrasound machine equipment. And uh, then um, we will, um, we will, um, we, we can differentiate according uh, to our LIRAT system and uh, in doubt, take it out. No, in doubt, uh, take a biopsy uh, for the final, uh, for the final uh, diagnosis. Uh, 